Right now, school districts across Missouri are reviewing their latest scores from the state's school improvement program to help us sort through that data showing a performance decline and offer some perspective. The Missouri State Teacher of the Year joins us, Christina Andrade Melli. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, for viewers who aren't teachers, <laughs> what is MSIP 6? So MSIP stands for the Missouri School Improvement Program, and this is the sixth version of it. It's been around in some form since the 1990s, and it's really the report card for schools in the state. We often hear of MAP testing. This is included in that? The, in this current version, MAP testing counts for about 48% of a school's report card score. Um, I think that that's going to be one of the reasons that parents maybe are concerned about the decline, but it's also a decline that makes sense. This new system is based on the scores from the end of last school year, which for a lot of families was very challenging still. Students were out of the classroom for a lot of reasons. Uh, we had a tremendous teacher shortage. And so even though those scores can be kind of challenging to look at at first, I think that there's a lot of growth and a lot of things that have improved quite a bit since the actual measure was taken. So would you say the biggest surprise of the results that were just released earlier this month mm -hmm. was how many schools declined so significantly? Mm -hmm. The last time that we had scores under the fifth version of the program was in 2018. So it was prior to the pandemic. Schools had had a long time to adjust to that program and really know what the Department of Education was looking for. Uh, and we went to a lot more schools that fall into the provisionally accredited range as opposed to fully accredited or with distinction. So that's so, been a big shock. As a teacher then, what do you want the parents of the children who are getting this education to know about the quality of that education? I think it's something that parents really already know when it comes to their children, which is that one number can't tell an entire story. Okay. That this is really a chance to get curious about their child's education, that it's a chance to get curious about the school district and find out what can we do to support that? What does our district need and how can we help find it together? Oh, what's your message to fellow teachers who might feel discouraged by these numbers? I think it's very similar to use this to look beyond that number and to get curious about what their district and what the department and the community can do to support. It's a tremendous challenge. It's a really ambitious goal for our kids, but I hope that the support will match the challenge. And what do you predict or hope will happen next once people have time to mm -hmm. digest these numbers? I really anticipate those scores are going to go up tremendously. Um, no school district's accreditation is impacted for two school years. So there are two years for students to get back into the rhythm of school, for schools to adjust to those measures, and really to target instruction so that we can give our students what they need so they can go and do their best. I'm so glad that you could come join us today to really offer this classroom perspective to the numbers. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Well, we